right by our uh, hotel. One of these are for me, and then these two are for him. So we're in this, it's like almost like a, I feel like it's like an Italian grocery store. And then inside the grocery store is like this like restaurant area. But it's cool because you just order like at the front and then you just go sit and then you And you don't have a waiter. Kind of like Whole Foods, but like classier. Okay. I just love the bread. Oh, it's like crunchy. It's like just good. And like simple. I know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. currently at cocktail bar slash listening lounge of the hotel, but there's no music, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about to turn it up maybe. Yeah, it's like... It would be sick if mm -hmm. it was loud. It would, but I keep forgetting it's Monday. So? And people don't really party on Mondays. Maybe I should just do a no shave the whole year. Shave it all off? No. Grow it for the rest of the year. Oh, no, no, no. It's already so long. And you got it trimmed, right? Like recently? Yeah, a week and a half ago. Where? I did it. Oh. We were we were debating doing um Movember and I told him to do it. But like this. I think it looks so good. You you have such a nice jawline. I don't know. Like when you that. accidentally shaved off all your beard. Yeah. It looked really good. I just don't feel normal without a beard. Yeah, because you've had it for so long. But I think without it feels like, so just, nice when you shave though. Yeah. You know what? You know what I could compare it to? Like girl version. I feel like it's like. You know when you get your, well, you don't, but when you get your acrylics off, or like you peel off your acrylics, and you're like, it's your bare nail, that feeling. That's what you could compare to. I don't know, because I've <laughs> never had acrylics. for bed um we just got back to our room and i still have some homework to do you can kind of see my <laughs> lecture is down there on the toilet so i'm just gonna like wash my face and we're probably just gonna watch a movie later once i'm done my homework um and then tomorrow don't mind my stay on the bathroom but tomorrow um we're gonna try to wake up early go for breakfast and then um, go to the gym and then maybe just like find something to do, maybe a museum or something like that. Um, but yeah, so for tonight, that's it. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Three juices. <laughs> Why, you can't, you couldn't choose? What? You couldn't choose? I like the juice. <laughs> okay. So we are going for lunch and 
it's a burger place called, what is it called? Bastard Burger. Bastard Burger. Huh. Apparently there's supposed to be some, some vegan burgers there, so since I'm trying not to eat some red meat, that'll be interesting. And we've just been walking around all morning. It's freezing. This is, this is my favorite street. It's so pretty. Girl can dream. That one is my favorite right there. Which one? In the back? With the blue? I don't like that. That's a big face. What size is yours? That? Yours is the nicest, for sure. Oh wow, that is fried. Yummy. Thank you so much for having me there. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, babe. Oh, yeah. Churros before burgers. You got some chocolate right here. <laughs> What is it? What's that? Chili fries? So this is my vegan burger. And I'm wearing my new jacket from Sarah. My sweater. Can you even see my shirt that I'm wearing? Yeah. Yeah. Nikki convinced me to wear a sweater today because it's really cold. So since Nikki completely cut me off before, my outfit today, <laughs> are you done? Okay. My outfit today, so my hat I got from H&M. This top under, you can't really see it, but you can kind of see the collar, um, is from, I think, Misguided. And the sweater is just a plain black hoodie from Zara, and then so is my jacket. My jacket's also from Zara. And then I just have my pouch, which is from Amazon. I'll see if I can try to link it, because um, it's super good and it was really, really cheap. Um, and then I'm just wearing my track pants and my sunnies and some hoops. lip combo right now it is um essay louder double wear uh, lip pencil the shade um 18 nude and then for lipstick i'm wearing my maybelline nude lust and you look banging dude thanks honey you too so we're going out for dinner dinner to a steakhouse so Maybe I'll have a steak, maybe I will. We'll see. Maybe some fish. Let's go. Okay. okay. <laughs> so itchy. I don't know why. It feels like a bug bite. What? My ankle, like, it literally feels like a bug bite. You're a little bug. You're a little bug.
So it's our last morning and this is my breakfast. <laughs> Nikki decided to order off the menu, or off the buffet, on the menu. And that's what he got. Looks way classier. <laughs> and a smoothie in a wine glass. Good morning guys, so um, I'm just getting ready for the day. And I just thought I'd show you guys how I do my makeup for like everyday makeup type thing. Um, I didn't bring all my makeup to Stockholm, so I don't have everything, but we'll work with what I have. Um, so I just clean my face, wash my face. Um, I'm using my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin. Um, this is like my go-to for the winter. It's like super lightweight, but it also just keeps me so moisturized. I'm thinking of trying, um, once this pot is done, I'm thinking of trying the, the like famous Kiehl's cream because I just like love Kiehl's products in general. So I've really been liking um, covering up like my pimples before I put on my foundation, just so that like when I put on my foundation, it's like a super like clean uni unicolor slate, if you know what I mean. Um, so, oh, I forgot to put primer on. Damn, <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, so for my primer on this trip, I've been using the Elf uh, Poreless Putty Primer. It's so, so good. Usually I don't like like pore filling primers. I'm usually more into like kind of like cream primers, like moisturizing primers. But this one almost feels like a cream. Like I'll just like warm it up with my finger and I'll spread it mostly where I get the most pores, which is like around this area, my nose, um, my chin. I've been breaking out like crazy um, since I've been here. I don't know if it's like just like a change of diet um, or or just like stress or just traveling, but it's just been so, so bad. I'm like trying not to touch my face. I have like such a bad habit of um, picking up my, my pimples, which is so bad. So they like stay for like weeks um, and I get like scars. I have like a lot of like scars because of that, which is super annoying, but I've been trying, trying to be better at that. So for my foundation, I'm actually using the uh, Les Watier Teint Lift and anti -Hid. Um, so it's like anti-wrinkle. It's actually, my mom bought this for her and she didn't like it just because it was more like, it was less coverage than she wanted. So she gave it to me, but it's really nice. It's almost like kind of like a BB cream and it's like not too glowy, but very natural looking. So I love that about it. And it's super easy to um, apply. So I'm just dabbing that on. I like to do one side at a time so that one side doesn't dry out while I'm doing the other one. It's a little bit dark for me, but my tan faded since the trip. Um, I didn't bring my good tanner on this trip or to Sweden in general, so I'm kind of annoyed because I have this like tanner, but it's not that good and it fades really quickly and it doesn't get me dark enough, but I'm trying to find something over here. It's just hard to order online in Sweden because you need to have like a personal number. It's like an ID number um, that's on your like card of like citizenship, I guess. And you like literally cannot order stuff online if you don't have um, that number. And I've just been trying to like find, we even tried like one of like Nikki's teammates numbers, but it hasn't worked. So it's like, you can't order anything online. And like a lot of the products that we have back home, like they don't sell here. 
so it's just really annoying because I'm like addicted to tanning. If you've watched my channel, you know that. So I haven't been using a lot of powder either on this trip just because the powder that I have back home or back um, in Mora, it's the Coty Airspun um, loose face powder or like translucent powder. And I feel like it was working for me when I just started using it. But now I almost feel like I've been using it for too long that um, it dries out my skin too much. Um, or at least my under eyes because I have pretty dry under eyes. So when I put it and I bake with it, um, I feel like I just look really cakey. Like that <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so I haven't been using um, that powder. I'm using my NYX um, Stay Map and Not Flat powder foundation. It's not a translucent powder, but when I'm using my darker shades, I feel like it's okay. Just checking out Meryl and we're waiting for um, Nikki's friend or Nikki's teammate um, and his dad. We're gonna go walk around with them and stuff. Our train's at five, it's now like noonish, so we have the afternoon um, before we have to go back to Mora, um, which is nice. Yeah, so we're just chilling in the lobby, and the lobby at this hotel is like so freaking nice. So I'll show you guys, hold on. really nice steakhouse in Stockholm and it was so so good we kind of just had like I think like the chef's menu so um, we got like a little bit of everything on the menu and it was honestly amazing I, I don't usually eat like red meat but I thought like this would be like a good exception or like kind of like good opportunity to <laughs> treat myself a little bit so um, that was really fun and we just walked around after dinner so it was just such a nice night um, to finish off the trip with. So I'll take you guys along today. I don't know what we're doing, but um, I'm sure it'll just be kind of like walking around and whatever, so. Also, by the way, guys, um, my lashes that I got done in September, um, or like mid-September before I left, these are still them. So how crazy is that? I, so that's literally like, it's been, it's what, like November um, 8th right now? and they're still like in such good condition. They're like fading out so well. I just have like a layer of um, mascara on right now and that's it. But like they've lasted like almost two months. So if you guys need a lash tech, um, Rachel, shout out to Rachel, you're the best. I've been going to her for, since I've had lash extensions and I've tried like other people in like Toronto and stuff and it's just like not even close to how good she is. So um, I'll put her Insta um, on the screen now if you guys need a lash tech, hit her up.
waiting at the train station. Um, I'm ordering Starbucks and it's like the first time I've had Starbucks in like, <laughs> I think like two months. It's like the most exciting moment. 